my name is Red Deadly, and today we're going to be opening this package from Spider Duel Comics. What is going on, YouTube? Chris of Journals Comics, and my right hand man, Red Deadly. Coming at you guys today with this awesome uh, package that just showed up on my doorstep from Spiderdo Comics, SpiderDoComics.com. Yes, you guys got to check them out if you haven't yet. Their link is in the description below, and you can use the code Journos10 to save some uh, money on your purchases from the website. So uh, this morning I got my notification on my phone saying shipment has been delivered. I'm like, yeah. Went out to the porch. Grab the box. Red Deadly was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's make a video. Let's make a video. So here we are. We're going to just open this right up. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please do so. Red Deadly is once again trying to take over the, the channel since he's been getting a little more limelight, you know, since my hiatus and everything. And, uh, you know, because be before that, before I was going through my stuff, you know, if you guys have been watching my channel, you may know that Red Deadly kind of went through his own thing as well. I mean, he was talking about starting up his own YouTube. Uh, you know, he left town for like weeks and I didn't even know if he was coming back. But he finally came back and said, you know what, Chris? I am journal fam for life, but I just, I need to get more screen time. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, be a, a kind friend here and give him what he needs. So thanks to Spider Do Comics and they always have the most awesome stickers. I love these. I love these in their uh, packages. So uh, I went through the website. This was like just a week ago. Uh, so quick shipping. Oh, this is dope. And I love their little thank yous that they do. They throw my logo in there. That is awesome. Um, but I went through the website. Website is very easy to navigate. They're constantly throwing new stuff up. What's really cool about their website too, folks, is that it's, you know, it's got a standard uh, catalog of, of books that you can add to your cart and purchase, but you can also make offers on them. That's really freaking awesome if you ask me. So another just good example of, of, of an awesome business model. <laughs> Here we are. Everything is always well packaged. Great use of painter's tape, bubble wrap, cardboard, etc., etc. Now, another thing I want to make clear, too, if you guys don't know, that 10% that you can get off with the Journos 10 code, if they're having any other sales or anything else is on sale, you could piggyback that. So, for example, for the month of May... Look at that. For the month of May, they were having a Star Wars sale. I believe it was 25% off. Uh, Star Wars related books. So if you bought some Star Wars books and used the Journos 10 code, you would have got 35% off. Um, and I know that uh, I'm privy to some things that Spider Dude Comics is um, going to be making waves with in the near future. Uh, I'm going to keep that on hush for right now, but they got a lot of awesome things in the works, guys. I really, I mean, again, I mean, they've only been active for, I think, maybe like six months. I don't remember exactly, but they haven't even completed a full calendar year yet. And just what they've been doing has been amazing. And like I said, I stand by, I only stand by people that I really trust and that I can really, you know, speak uh, honestly honestly about so i don't bs oh nice and i don't just talk people up just because i have some type of partnership with them or whatever and i always say this too i'm not gonna have a partnership with somebody that i don't trust as well i pick very scarcely all right guys i'm gonna save i have a nice silver age book right here that I'm going to save for last. It's in Mylar. Awesome. We're going to go through um, this stuff first and foremost. They go front to back because um, 
you know, for no spine stress. That's awesome. So what I took advantage of here was Star Wars books. So I did take advantage of the Star Wars um, sale. And I filled some runs in my Star Wars Volume 1 Marvel run because I'm a collector of runs. And I it, it, my run is almost complete. I mean, I need the big, you know, 42. But this is issue number 70. Nice looking book. All right, we got issue number 73. We got issue number 85. I already had this book, and this is a nice, uh, maybe like, you know, VGF copy, F minus copy. But um, the copy that I have has some weird, like, dirt all over it. It's disgusting. I almost want to throw it away. And I know that's blasphemy, but for this book, or I might just rip the cover off and use it as a coverless copy copy now but um glad I finally upgraded that we got issue 97 again very affordably priced or fair pricing with again you know taking advantage of whatever sales they have going on using the journals 10 code ah yes issue number 100 I am so happy because I haven't been purchasing, it's been a long time since I've really been purchasing comics even. And to be able to do this and to support spider Do Comics and to fill some Star Wars holes, it's very exciting. Alright, next up we have uh, Secret Wars 2, number 3, the first physical appearance of the Beyonder. Definitely a little spec on this. With Secret Wars coming and the possibility of the Beyonder showing up in the MCU. And I've, I've been talking about my, my theory now. I talked about this before we even knew a Secret Wars was coming. I think I I felt like they needed to do a Secret Wars movie. And that if they do, they're going to mix the original with, you know, the original Secret Wars series with the 2015 one. And I think it's going to be a mix of between focusing on the Beyonder and doctor doom and battle world so that's my theory all right and here's a issue three of their original first appearance of uh uh titania this one got hot for a minute because of she hulk i mean it's still a, a solid you know affordable key but um yeah that's a nice looking copy too nice looking copy a couple of Non-color break its spine tick and use a press and it's probably going to be looking near minty there. Alright, uh, next up we have Secret Wars 2, number 6. I just didn't have this. So, a little run filler. I think I have the complete... I, I didn't have this either. So, now I have the complete sets of both uh, the Volume 1, or Series 1, and the, the Series 2 of Secret Wars. Alright, we have another... Uh, before the Silver Age that I'm showing off here, we have another Silver Age book. This is a run uh, filler as well. Will I ever own this whole run? <laughs> I don't think so, but I do own a complete Captain America Volume 1 run, which continues this run. This is Tells of Suspense, number 70. So happy to have another one of those in my collection. And again, maybe I'll never own the entire run, but the more I have, the, the awesomer, <laughs> right? All right, and lastly, I say this for last just because it is um, my grail run, and I only need, like, what, 19 more books? I don't know. I'm so close, and the ones that I need are going to be the hardest. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 76 with the Lizard. Late Silver Age. Amazing Spider-Man. It's a, you know, it, it looks nice. It's got kind of a big... Color break crease right there if you can see that, but um, sits flat. Some spine wear, a little color break crease right here, but still very presentable. And there's one more off the list. One more, man. The, one of the bigger ones, too, that I still need is, is issue 50. If anybody has one out there that they're selling, an Amazing Spider-Man 50, um, low grade, incomplete, I don't care. I don't care because I'm on a budget anyways. And as long as like the cover is complete. You know, that that's my main 
I wanted to present nice, but if anyone's selling one, willing to do a trade, uh, I got some awesome books coming back from CGC real soon. So anyone out there, let me know. I want that book badly in my collection. And then, of course, all the, the lower numbers. I think the lowest issue number I have is issue number eight. I had the second and third appearance of Doc Ock. Um, I have the second and third and fourth appearance of Green Goblin, but not the first. So, one day, I'm getting there, guys. So, again, that's my little haul, man. Very, very happy. I, they actually had sent me a little gift pack a while back that I unboxed. This is my first time actually purchasing from the site. And again, very, very awesome people um, uh, that have just been big fans of this community before even starting their business. Uh, a big part of this community and an even bigger part of it now, having a an online retailer that really holds the values of, you know, a classic LCS. And uh, what they do is awesome. Uh, they have a lot more to come. They have a long, prosperous future ahead of them, I believe. So, guys, go check out spiderdoocomics.com. Again, link below. You can use the code JOURNOS10 to receive 10% off of your order. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you thought of my haul from Spiderdoo Comics. And uh, on behalf of Red Deadly, thank you guys so much. Be well. And until next time.